All right, everybody, welcome back. We are on part three of our four part series of how to be profitable moving into the new year. And, you know, and here's the thing this series is all, this session is all about your year in social media audit. And what do I mean by that? <laughs> well, if you're like so many of my clients, you're probably checking the box when it comes to social media, especially if you're paying someone else to do it for you. But the fact of the matter is that if you're posting just a post and not paying attention to the quality of the content or if the graphics look good, and people can read them well. <laughs> I was just auditing a, a new client's uh, social media recently. <laughs> And they're so they were very proud of their social media. And it's, you know, again, it's good that you're doing it. But when I can't read the post because the font is too light against a light background color, like folks, you're wasting money. You're throwing that money away and no one, no one has time for that. Okay. So we want to make our social media actually count, not just check the darn box. All right. So this episode is short, sweet, and to the point and full of valuable information to help you take a quick audit of your social media. So you can make tweaks that will benefit your, your bottom line, which is what we all want to do, right? So as with anything in your business, I want you to consider your why. So why do you post on social media? Is it because you have a product that you're looking to sell, a service that you're looking to sell? Do you want to use social media as more of what I call the digital business card? And I'm using air quotes for those of you who can't see me. But this means that when people meet you and say they meet you at a chamber meeting or a social gathering or whatever, and you know what people do, they hop to their Google, you know, Google page and look you up, right? And the first thing that typically pops up um, if you don't have a website is your LinkedIn page, like Google yourself, you'll find it. The first one or two pages that pop up is going to be that LinkedIn page. And when people look you up on social media, that you want them to see interesting and compelling content that, you know, so someone can see that you're a legit business owner or that you're a legit corporate executive. Okay. So this is what people do in this day and time, and you need to be doing it too. So once you're clear on that, why, like what's your reason for wanting to post on social media to build your personal brand, to sell the product? whatever it is, I want you to take a, a look at these five items that you need to review. Okay. So here is what we're going to start with. Number one, analytics. And I know that I've repeated this a million times this past year and over the past couple of podcast episodes, but numbers don't lie. All right. We want to be sure that the posts we're pushing out on social media are landing with our perfect client. We can gauge this typically by looking at our various metrics. Then you ask yourself like which posts perform well and which ones didn't. And why do you think they did or didn't perform that way? Okay. may not comment or give you that thumbs up that we all like to see does not mean that they don't love your content. So many people are what I call silent on social media. They see what you're posting, but they never comment. And I want to give you an example of this uh, for me specifically. I have a client, a now client who I just secured back right before Thanksgiving, um, who received every single email that I have sent out over the past two years. I know that he follows me on social media um, you know, because I see him and every once in a while, he'll you know, give me a thumbs up on a post or whatever like that. But more often than not, this guy does not comment. He doesn't say anything. Right. And I tell you what, before Thanksgiving, I got an email. He wanted to talk to me. We've got a big high ticket project that I'm going to be doing for him starting in January. Two years, guys, two years. It took two years of consistent posting, consistent email marketing, and the phone rang, and it's a big deal, okay? So consistency is absolutely the name of the game when it comes to your social media content. That's why you've got to be pushing out content on the regular. Consistency is king, all right? So even though I want you to be checking those analytics, um, because those analytics do tell a story, right? They, they tell a story as to which videos were, you know, most watched. They tell a story as to, you know, which posts were most engaged on. And you can take that information and apply it to future posts, okay? And that's what I want you to do. That's the breadth of what I'm trying to teach here. So number one, your anal analytics. Number two, I want you to clean out your followers. You heard me. All right. I want you to clean out your followers. I want you to take a look at who is following you. And if they're not people or businesses that align to your vision of your business, you need to delete them like quantity, your quality over quantity any day. Okay. Number three, I want you to update your bio, update your bio to reflect those new skills, credentials, and certifications. It's also a fantastic time to ask for recommendations on LinkedIn as well, too, because we want to build those testimonials on your LinkedIn page. Side note, take those recommendations that are given to you on LinkedIn, 
and develop a post and post it on Instagram and Facebook about it. Okay. So just a side note, you should be doing that. Number four, your link in bio. So I want you to freshen up your link in your bio as well as uh, your Facebook and LinkedIn banners. Okay. Uh, make sure that your link in bio, bio, this is the hyperlink on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn that directs people to an actual live link. Okay. It's the blue type. It's the live hyperlink. This can be your website, your link tree, or whatever link that you want to send someone uh, to in your network. I mean, the cool thing about, you know, social media is that, you know, when we connect with people in real life and then we connect with them, then, you know, on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or whatever, or even if we're connecting people in the, in the digital step, so they meet us they consume our content. They see that we're legit. What's next? Then what do we want them to do? You've got to lead people to that next step. And your link in bio is that next step. So think about what that's going to look like for your business. Make sure that it's live. Make sure that the link actually works. Holy Lord. If you want to know how many people put links up there that are broken, it happens. I'm going to say six times out of 10. So make sure that the link actually works. That, that you spell the words correctly, that it actually works. Okay. So number five, I want you to think about your social media platforms that you're using. Okay. It's always a good idea to think about the social media platforms you're using and consider whether or not your perfect client is actually hanging out on those platforms or not. You know, I was uh, talking with a potential client a couple of weeks ago and it's a law firm and they're a commercial transactions law firm, if you will. And uh, they were asking me like, should I be on TikTok? Should I, should I do this on TikTok? And I'm like, well, talk to me about your clients. Like, are your clients the type of people to be on TikTok? Yes or no? Okay, if the answer is no, then you probably don't need to be on TikTok, at least for right now. This is something that you need to be auditing. This is the thing that you need to be thinking about on an annual basis though, okay? Because we all know that it, you know, like for example, I was on Facebook for forever. And then a couple of years ago, I got into Instagram. Okay, so my, my you know, my, my patterns have changed a little bit. Your clients' patterns will change as well too. So this is not a hard and fast, no, I'm never gonna be on TikTok. This is that I'm not gonna be on TikTok for now because it, my ideal client, my perfect client who's consuming my content, they may or may not be on those platforms. So that's a question that I want you to ask yourself. Um, you know, if you're a perfect client, the perfect, you know, the person who's going to be consuming your content, are they on those platforms? If they're not, then you probably shouldn't be either. Okay. Because we don't have time to waste and we don't have money to throw away. So just be mindful of that. So I just want to recap these five things very quickly for you. Number one, your social media analytics, take a look at your numbers, your views, your saves, your shares on your post. Posts. That tells a story. We need to replicate some of that content with some fresh ideas moving into the new year based on what we're seeing is performing best. Okay. Number two, we need to clean out your followers. People who don't align to your mission, your vision of your organization, gotta go. We gotta go, right? Because we want the right eyeballs on your business. We don't want to waste our time with people who are never going to buy from us. That's ridiculous. Number three, I want you to update your bio. Okay. Reflect new skills. Ask for those recommendations on LinkedIn. Make sure that we're, you know, making some social media posts about those recommendations as well, too. But update that bio. Make sure it's fresh and relevant. And number four, I want you to check that link in bio, the hyperlink. It's it's got to, it's, it's got to work y'all. We've got to send people to the next step. So make sure that link in bio actually works and it's sending people to your website link tree or something that makes sense for you. Okay. And number five, social media platform overview. Just think about it. Are you on the right platforms? Are you on the platforms where, you're, where your customers are hanging out? If you are great, you don't need to spend too much time on this. Not yeah. So those are my five tips as to what you need to be doing, um, you know, to, to make sure that you're spending your time wisely and you're not throwing money out the window because nobody's got time for that. And if this is something you feel like you're like, Hey, Heather, you know, I need somebody, I need a fresh set of eyeballs. I need someone to help me with this. I have like just a few sessions left in December and January, my January is booked, but, um, you know, I, I would just highly suggest, you know, click the link below and the show notes and, um, you know, connect with me. I'd love to be able to help walk you through, um, you know, your social media and your content strategy and, and what's going to be, make the most impact for you and most bang for your buck, but, you know, cash in the bank. That's where, what we're all about. Okay. So just connect with me, uh, check the link below in the show notes and we'll make that happen for you. All right. Until next time, take care.